Hello everyone, welcome to soundproofguide.com. In this video, I'll be talking about how to soundproof a ceiling and what works and what really doesn't work. There's a lot of people, especially people living in condos, where you move into a condo and to your surprise, you can hear everything from upstairs and it, it can drive people, well, it can lead to lawsuits because a lot of places people are suing because it's, it's unreal how bad the soundproofing is, especially in condos. You can kind of expect it in apartments, but condos. So in this video, it's more so for if you can perform a little bit of a construction. If you're living in an apartment, well, this video is not really for you. Video right up here though, that has a lot of soundproofing tips if you live in a place where you can't really do a lot of construction. So make sure to go watch that video if you live in a situation like that. Now, the first thing to really know before you begin your soundproofing project for a ceiling is which type of noise are you trying to get rid of? Most of the time, it's impact noise. You want to you wanna stop hearing the people walking upstairs. That's what's driving most people insane is impact noise in those types of settings. But let's say that you have nobody living on top of you, but let's say there's a flight path right on top of your house and you're hearing planes and so it'd be more airborne noise that you'd like to get rid of. So that's the first thing. If you want to get rid of airborne noise, there's a few set of different things that you should do versus if you want to get rid of impact noise. Now we'll begin with impact noise for your ceiling. Now, if you want to get rid of impact noise, you will have to decouple the ceiling from the floor, from the floor joist. And the way of doing this is to get rid of the drywall and install some resilient channel. This is the only way that you're really going to get rid of impact noise because by just adding more mass without decoupling, the vibration, I mean, yes, it will probably sound a little bit less, but you'd have to have a lot of drywall to basically eliminate that. And you, it'll, you'll have a hard time eliminating that vibration of a person walking right on top of you. So decoupling is the way to go. So for more information on how to install Resilient Channel, watch that video. It'll talk about how to install this type of material and how not to install it because a lot of people when they install it the DIY way it doesn't work because they just don't install it correctly so that video will talk about that if you like this type of content consider subscribing to my channel I would also appreciate you leaving a comment if you have any soundproofing questions or comments for me to answer now if you're going to be getting rid of the drywall and installing a resilient channel one thing that you should do is add some sound deadening insulation. Sound deadening insulation is a little bit more expensive than just regular fiberglass insulation, but it works a lot better at sound proofing and sound deadening. Some people will say, ah, it doesn't work as, it doesn't make a huge difference. Well, it makes a little bit of a difference for the amount that it cost. So if you go by how many decibels versus how much it costs more for the sound deadening insulation versus the regular fiberglass insulation, in my opinion, it's worth it. Especially if you're just doing one wall or one ceiling, then you don't have to install this stuff everywhere in your house if you're just wanting to eliminate one section of the house for soundproofing. So that's one thing to look at install sound deadening insulation. If you want to know more about sound deadening insulation, that's the video and it'll just it'll just talk about all the different types and how they all work differently and which one not to choose because there's some insulation that literally does not work at all for soundproofing. So make sure to go watch that. What is nice also with insulation is that it helps a lot with airborne noise. Now you've decoupled, everything's open, you might as well install the insulation. It'll help with airborne noise, it'll also help a little bit with impact noise, but it is more for airborne noise. So let's say that you're not, it's not footsteps that you're worried about, it's just noise, nothing to do with impact. Then, well, if you have an exposed ceiling, adding the insulation without having to decouple. If you're not going to be soundproofing for impact noise, I wouldn't even bother, I wouldn't bother decoupling because it's just an uh, added cost and usually you'll have to hire somebody to do it. So in my opinion, it's not worth it if you're not trying to get rid of impact noise. So if you're just trying to get rid of airborne noise, then what would work is insulation. 
and layers of drywall. Now probably on the ceiling you already have a 5 8 inch drywall. Now if you don't want to do any construction ripping out the ceiling then what you just need to do is add a second layer of drywall and make sure it's 5 8 inch drywall because the half inch is just not as thick and it's just not as good for soundproofing. You can, you can go a little bit further and buy sheetrock that is for specifically for soundproofing. It has a separation of the two sheets and in the middle they have some type of acoustical compound that helps deaden the noise from going through. It's a little bit more expensive, but I would recommend that if you just have a, a little wall to do. If you if you just if you're just buying a few sheets, then just pay a few more dollars and get what get what you pay for for soundproofing. Now, if you're if you have multiple walls, then five eight inch drywall will basically do the trick. Now, one thing that really doesn't work when wanting to soundproof a ceiling for any type of noise is adding a acoustical cloud, adding some acoustical panels on the ceiling, or just sticking a blanket on the ceiling. I've seen people suggest that, and that has uh, that does absolutely nothing to soundproof the ceiling. It simply won't do anything to soundproof the ceiling and to stop any type of noise going through the ceiling. The only thing that this type of material will do is to help deaden the noise that's in the room. It won't do anything for noise coming through the ceiling, whether it's impact or airborne, it won't do absolutely anything. So that is something that absolutely doesn't work. Something that does work, however, for airborne noise is to add something like a putty pad around the electrical box up into the ceiling. Now if the ceiling is, is exposed, then it's perfect. You can easily get up there. But if it is not exposed, then it's a little bit more difficult. You'd have to do a little bit of cutting and most of the time it's just not worth it. What's nice with these types of putty pad is really it's made for if there's a fire inside the electrical box, it helps prevent the fire from spreading. But what it also does, it helps in soundproofing because all the little holes in the electrical box where the wires usually go through, they're all exposed and noise will go right through that hole, down the fixture and into the room. So if you can seal those holes, then it really makes a difference, especially for airborne noise. Impact noise, it won't really do anything for impact noise. So if you're just looking for airborne noise, then yes, that could work, but it won't really work for impact noise. As I was mentioning for the extra layer of drywall, that's great for airborne noise, but when I was saying about impact noise, if you add layer after layer, it really won't make much of a difference. So if you're just going to add a layer of drywall, then it's mostly for airborne noise. One thing that doesn't work for impact noise is what I mentioned worked for airborne noise just a couple of minutes ago is the extra layer of 5 8 inch drywall. Now if the only noise that you have is impact noise, people walking around and you can't really decouple the ceiling, adding an extra layer of drywall on the ceiling, it really won't make a huge difference. Some people have said that if you add the acoustical compound and you add some mass loaded vinyl and then you add a third layer of drywall and more mass loading vinyl and acoustical compound then it would make a difference but that's a lot of work that's a whole lot of money because mass loaded vinyl if you don't know what it is the video right up here will explain everything about mass loaded vinyl but really it's just to, to give you a quick idea it's a it's a thin but very dense material it, it's like a rubber and what this does, it helps block noise and it also helps deaden noise. You can add this type of material in between two layers of drywall when you're wanting to soundproof a wall. It, it, it does help, but to go about it on the ceiling, it might make a little bit of a difference, but the amount of work and the amount of money that it will take, you're way better off hiring somebody to rip out the ceiling add a resilient channel to decouple and just do it right. Because if you get rid of a few decibels, it, it really, it, I'm telling you, it's just not worth it. It's just not worth it for the amount of money and effort that you'll be putting into the project. As I said, call a professional, they'll come rip it out, they'll do what needs to be done to get the job done right. Yes, it will be a little bit more expensive or maybe a lot more expensive, but at least it won't be money thrown into the garbage because 
if you spend a few hundred dollars doing this option and you get zero results, then you have to start over again and it's just not worth it. So there you have it. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you like this type of content, consider subscribing to the channel and leaving a comment and a like. It's I love hearing your comments and getting the likes, but it also sends a signal to YouTube and it really helps boost small channels out. So really for all of your favorite YouTubers, consider leaving a comment, hitting the like. It really doesn't take that much time. And I do like to read the comments, you know, and also see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye. Feel free to take a look at many of our other YouTube videos and also some of our articles on our website soundproofguide.com. Don't forget to click the like button if you enjoyed this video and also consider subscribing to our channel if you like our content. Also feel free to leave us a comment below if you have any soundproofing questions of your own. We will certainly try our very best to help you. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you again in the next video or any other videos in our channel. Thank you very much.